Welcome to this academic life hack, how to write an abstract in less than two minutes by New Mexico EBSCO. Ready? Here we go. Step one, read and understand the requirements. How many words, what file format, how to name the file. This is where the most mistakes are made, so read and understand the requirements. Step two, write your abstract title, name, and institution. Add co-authors as appropriate. For example, The Role of Google Glomping in Squiffling Widgets by Alec McWidget, the University of McWidgetster. Step three, write the main body of your abstract. We've broken this down sentence by sentence. First sentence, general topic statement. What's the big idea? For example, In Wigatology, it's long been understood that you have to glomp the widgets before you can squiffle them. Second sentence, state the problem you're addressing. What's the research question? For example, But there's still no known general method to determine when they have been sufficiently glomped. Third sentence, summarize the state of the field. Why hasn't anyone answered this question yet? For example, the literature describes several specialist techniques that measure how whizzled or how whomped the widgets have become during the glomping, but all of these involve slowing down the glomping and thus risking a fracturing of the widget. Fourth sentence, how did you conduct your research? For example, in this thesis, we introduce a new glomping technique, which we call Google glomping, that allows direct measurement of whiffleization, a superior metric for assessing squiffle readiness. Fifth sentence, summarize what you found out. For example, we describe a series of experiments on each of the five major types of widget and show that in each case, Google glomping runs faster than competing techniques and produces glomped widgets that are perfect for squiffling. Sixth and final sentence, explain the impacts of your findings. For example, we expect this new approach to dramatically reduce the cost of squiffled widgets without any loss of quality and hence make mass production viable. Abstract body, done. Step four, edit and proofread. Do it. Ask someone else to read it too. Step five, provide keywords. Keywords help other researchers find your research and decide if they're interested. For example, Wigatology, glomping, Google glomping, and squiffling. That's it. Special thanks to Steve Esterbrook, who shared his great examples under the 2.5 Creative Commons license. Go check out his website. Now go write your abstract.